Welcome back everyone on the French Cooking Academy. This is Stefan and today we're going to be talking about butter because butter is a key ingredient uh, in French cooking. I use it in a lot and a lot of my recipes but one of the comments I get very often is that you guys sometimes or where you live you can't get that kind of European style French style butter. And it's always like the comments like, oh, you know, I wish I could have this butter where I am. I can't get it. The one I can buy in my shop is not as good, etc., etc. So I thought, you know what? Time to make a video about butter. So first off, we're going to be talking about what is butter, how it's made, how it's come about. And second, we're going to make our own butter because it's actually very, very easy. And we're going to use a simple food processor and that simple element here, which is cream. And once you make that butter, there's no turning back. So first off, before anything, uh, you need to understand exactly how butter is made, where it comes from. So I've made a little diagram for you, so let's have a look. It all starts at the top left with a cow. Yeah? So of course, cow is very important because when you've got a healthy cow that's been grazing in green pasture with natural food, it's going to be producing a good quality milk. And this is the first product that comes from the cow. So when you start to get a lot of milk out of a cow, liters and liters and liters and liters, what's happening is that you get two products in the milk. So you're going to have at the bottom the milk that you know and love in bottle, like the whole milk. And at the top, usually, there is a layer of cream. And this is the stuff you buy also in the shop. Now with machines today, what is done is that the cream is separated from the milk and they are sold as two separate products. The first one is milk. The other one is cream, which is in a, in a liquid form. Okay? And this is what you see at the top right, a simple cream. And the quality of the cream is key to the quality of your butter. So if you go in a shop and you buy cream, this is what you need to pay attention to. Buy the best quality possible cream you can. But how do you go from cream to butter? Well, it is very simple. Now we're going to go down at the bottom left here and you can see that mixer well, with the cream. So all what you're going to do is a bit of a processing. All what you're going to need is a whisk, a stand mixer or an electrical mixer and you're going to put cream into a bowl and you're going to start whipping. And what's going to happen when you do that is that you're going to start to create what you know as whipped cream. And this is the stuff you get on ice cream. But because cream is composed of mainly water and fat, if you keep on whipping that cream continuously, it's going to come a point where the water and the fat contained in the cream are going to separate. And this is where you're going to have in your bowl instead of whipped cream, a pond of liquid that looks like water, which is called the buttermilk. And on the other side, you're going to have a lump of fat. And that lump is actually pure butter. So as you can see, making your own butter is very, very simple. And yet in the shop, and you go in there and there's always like light version, different version, cultured butter, etc., etc. And the butter is just not up to quality. You wonder why, because look at that, how simple it is to make. But of course, this is just a diagram and explanation. So I think, why don't we try to make our own butter and together so I can show you. I'm going to be using a little bit of cream here, my stand mixer, and I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm going from cream to whipped cream to butter and then we're going to taste it on a piece of bread. What about that? And here we are. So actually making butter, it's, it's a bit of a party trick. Like I'm sure a lot of you know already that and it's like, oh yes, I know how to make this before. But if you don't know, if you haven't seen it, I think it's a pretty cool. I love the transformation. So all what I'm doing here, I've got a stand mixer. You can use an electric mixer. You can do it by hand, but it's going to take longer if you go by hand. I've got 300 ml of pure cream. The cream is important, guys. You don't want to use a light cream. You don't want to use a thickened cream or a cream that's got additives like gelatin or anything like that. You need something that is usually referred to as pure cream, which is just basically cream with nothing else. Or what you do, you put it in a bowl and then we're going to start to go with the first stage, which is making like a whipped cream, right? Okay, put that on. All right, so let's have a look. When you beat cream like this, as you can see, it's going to get into that form here, now, which is like a whipped cream. But if you've already overbeat your cream, did you notice sometimes that you had that taste of butter? That there was a cream that had that, that kind of buttery taste? Well, this is because you're on the way 
to making butter. So when you've got your whipped cream, all what you need to do is to keep going. It starts to look really strange and it's gonna start to create some kind of little, little clumps everywhere. And it's gonna look a bit ugly and this is like, ugh, that cream doesn't look good. And this is where you're gonna see the magic happens. And I always, <laughs> always really like that moment because when it separates, you know, it goes for that kind of strange looking cream to really something totally, totally different. All right, I think it is getting yellow in the bowl. I think it's not far from breaking. This is an exciting moment. Can you see the, the yellowish color that starts to appear here? And it starts to be very grainy. And that's the water. You know, the fat and the water starts to separate more and more. And ooh, I think it's happening more and more. I, I can see a lot of liquid on the sides. Oh yes, it's bathing liquid more and more. And there we have it. It starts to be really, look at that. That's it, this is where it happens. Boom, look at that. Whoa! Slow down. Look at this. The transformation has happened. Let's have a look. All right. This is butter. Okay, let's have a very good look at this. Remember what I said in the theory? This is what's called in English, I think, buttermilk. You can see the amount of liquid there is in, in cream. And that, my friends, is all the fat that was contained in the cream. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take it out of that whisk here, and I'm gonna scoop it out with a wooden spoon. All right, now isn't that fun, this kind of experiment? Yeah, look at this. Up, I'm gonna use my spoon here. And you know in France, they got this special spoon, so we're gonna take this out, and I'm gonna get rid of that, uh, that buttermilk here and just keep the butter in the bowl. Okay, so all what I've done here, I actually took the butter and I've put it under cold water very shortly to get rid of the excess of this buttermilk here. But you see in, in France where they used to have these this big kind of spoons and all what you do with your butter, you kind of press it a little bit to give it a shape and extract the humidity that may reside. You see at the bottom here? And you're gonna do this and to really just keep this, a beautiful uh, colored butter. But if you look at it, this is really quality. I mean, look at that. This is the butter you buy in the shop. I'm all done. So what is there left to do? Basically, nothing. Your butter is ready to be consumed. In France, they're gonna have this wooden kind of shape. I've got only a metal one here, but just for fun, if you want, you, you can take the butter here and I'm gonna fill that, that jar and I'm gonna put a stamp on it. I'm gonna make my special stamp butter. I've got that utensil that's from, from a cocktail. I'm gonna kind of do a press here and make a special mark. And look at this. I've got the little board here, I've got the knife, I've got the butter and a piece of bread. Now, bad news for this thing. I've tried it and it was ridiculous. Like the, uh, because the only thing you see is this, this kind of horrible dot. It just makes tiny holes and you don't see that kind of octagon that's there. So let's go straight to uh, the testing. This is pure butter like you would buy in a shop. Okay. And on bread like this, You've got French style butter. Let's try it out. Oh, this is exactly the butter I would buy in France. You know what? It, that tastes really, really, really good. And not only it tastes good on bread, you can use this for cooking for anything. This is pure butter. So if you've ever wanted to make your own butter at home, look at this. This is absolutely simple and it's beautiful. But well, I hope it was an informative video today and I hope that you're gonna make your own butter at home now if you can't buy it in the shop because really it would be a crime not to. As always, if you have any question regarding uh, that recipe or how to make butter, drop me a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you make your own butter in a funny shape and your own stamps, please share your picture on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. And for the rest, you can join me on Patreon, Facebook, and you can also join our online culinary courses if you want to learn all the intricacy of French cooking. As for me, I see you all next week for another French cooking video. Take care all, bye-bye.